Now we will explore how to get your work moving with animation tools. Animation is its own art. We will just be looking at the basics and the tools within Procreate. Again, we will go to Actions, Canvas, and we'll find Animation Assist. Toggle Animation Assist on, and your frame timeline will open at the bottom. I will go to Layer 1 and create my background. Then I will tap that frame, open the frame option, and toggle Background on. That will keep this one frame consistent throughout all of the action. You can see the background highlighted as blue and it will always be on your far left. Next, we will add a frame. To demonstrate, I'm going to create a simple ball bounce. I have added the frame and added one ball. Tap the frame and you will have the option to duplicate. I would duplicate, then tap the layer to transform and continue the process. You can also duplicate layers, just like you would duplicate a frame. To use the squash principle, Switch your transformation from uniform to distort and have it squash as it hits the ground. Now we just continue to duplicate and move. I think we're ready to test it out. Hit play and see what happens. That was set to loop. You can also choose ping pong or one shot. Also under settings, you can adjust the onion skin. The onion skin is how many frames we actually see. These help when you are working, but does not affect the animation. You can adjust the opacity and the number of frames that you see. Also, under settings, you can adjust the frames per second or the speed of your animation. You can export as an animated GIF, which is good for looping, an animated PNG, which is good for transparent, or an animated MP4 or ATDC. Choose what's right for you. Each will give you choices to set your frame rate and your background. Now it's your turn to build a simple animation.